Hi, and uh, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India, and uh, this is my shack. And sometimes, or a lot of times as a ham, you come over challenges you want to solve as cheaply as possible. Because us hams are, in lack of a better, better word, inventive. And this little blue box with an uh, SO239 on each side is one of the ways I've used stuff I've got lying around to uh, fix a problem I have. So while you guys try to guess what I got, I'll open this box up and you'll see. And then we'll get back here and conclude on what it is and why I need it. So we got the blue box here. Let's open it up. And you might have thought that it'd be smart to use shorter screws, but then again, it's the spirit of using the stuff you have lying around. And uh, the only screws I had of the correct dimensions for this 3D printed box was <laughs> these screws. And speaking of that, um, I'll link down below to this box on Thingiverse so you can find it yourself if you need a project box. It's just a rectangular box with uh, SO239 cutouts on each side. Nothing really too magical about it, but it, it does its thing. And let's flip the lid off here. And there's a bunch of electrical tape here. I'll just remove that. And that's just a temporary solution until I've tested that everything works well with this. And here you can see we got uh, some RG174 wrapped 14 turns around uh, 43 140 core here. And that's a common mode choke. Nothing more complicated than that, but this is a problem solver. And the reason I need that common mode choke is because I do a lot of experimenting with uh, random wire antennas, that being a 9 to 1 anon with a random wire or a 4 to 1 uh, as a Rybakov. Uh, random wire antennas produce by nature a lot of common mode current. Sometimes it'd be good to have a box like this just to choke off a little bit of that current before it reaches your radio. And did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? Let me know down in the comments. And while I'm at the point of the comments, please do like and subscribe as well. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of ways down below. You can either buy me a coffee or you can support the channel on Patreon. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and until next time, 7-3.